Well, we grabbed some food and got a package delivered. Let's see what this is. I have no idea, but we'll see. Ah, this is a Raspberry Pi case. The Flurk. The Flurk. Can I open it with one hand? This is supposed to be a case that kind of acts like a heat shield also for your Raspberry Pi. Are you ready for a couple chicken nuggets? Yeah. She likes to have a couple chicken nuggets. All right. Oh, yeah. Feels kind of nice. It's got this... Feels kind of a rubbery, tactile deal. A couple screws. Oh, interesting. And it must snap on there. Very, very interesting. Looks kind of cool. Kind of like it. Well, I'll put my Raspberry Pi in it. Or show me putting it in after I eat my lunch. All right. <clears throat> Here's my Raspberry Pi 3 with the other case. that off. I'm going to pull my SD card out of here. My concern is that this case, yeah, let's get this out. Now we got to pop this out somehow. Ah, there we go. Come on up. Yeah, come on. <clears throat> All right, there's the old case. I like this case that it comes with. Now, <clears throat> this case, like I said earlier, it acts as a heat shield, a heat sink. So this is going to touch, make contact with that. But need to take this one off so I'm not sure if I need to plug this in and warm it up so it pops off that suckers kinda kinda on there maybe I'll warm it up turn it on and play it Come on, you can come off of there. I don't want to pull the chip off of there. You think the chip would come up off? I bet it would. Okay. I'm going to pause here. Go turn this on and let it warm up and I'll be back. All right. That helped to warm it up and get that off of there. So, now... Put that here and see if we can't get a little more light into this. So, I assume what we do is that's the old heat sink. Should be interesting. Try to get the damn bag open, my gosh. Tiny little stuff. All right, so this is going to go on. It doesn't have any instructions, so I'm just going to assume that that... I don't know if that sticks there or right on there. Put it. I get this 
piece of tiny stuff off. Holy crap. Really? This is making for a riveting video. There we go. All right, so I'm going to put that right on the... Right on the CPU, I guess. And I must pull this plastic. There's a little plastic on it. I assume you got to pull that off. I don't know. I guess that's the right way. And then we got to put it down here somehow. Come on, you can do it. Who can do it? Looks to be a little. I guess I gotta drop it in there first and then squish it over. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, so we drop it on. Yeah! Seems to be good. Right, there I am pushing down on that. Why are you doing that? Let me. Then we need to put these screws in here. I left my little tiny screwdrivers downstairs, so I'm gonna pause. Go grab that. Be right back. All right. Got those screwed in there. Now, guess what I did? <laughs> I'm supposed to screw them in on that. All right, let me undo these screws and pay attention to what I'm doing. Okay. There we go. I got it put together correctly now. You're able to put the SIM or your SD card in right there. So there it is, finished. <clears throat> Case is nice. I don't know if this is just to keep you from. It's kind of a rubbery tactile. I don't know if it's to keep you from burning your hand or what, but. This is a really nice case. So there you can see it. Got your audio, HDMI, and your power, and then your network and USB. Feels solid, more sturdy and solid than this other case we had here. So we'll save this case and use it for a, another build. Anyhow. Hope you enjoyed that video and like and subscribe if you like and um, gosh man thanks for watching have a happy day smell you later